Welcome back everybody to another LEGO Star Wars video. I guess in this video, not all Star Wars, but these are going to be more mystery blind bags from RepublicBricks.com. Uh, these are all $1 mystery minifigure bags. So um, these are all $1 a piece. I bought 40 of them. going to split it up into two separate videos. Here's 15 right here. So this total right here would have cost me about $19 shipped. So uh, 15 minifigures in this video. Um, again, probably nothing too crazy, but you know, any minifigure for a dollar is pretty much worth it at that point. Um, you can expect maybe some City, some Chima, but who knows guys, let's get into it. If you guys want to buy some of these on your own, uh, use code LIFEBRICK at checkout for 5% off your total order. Uh, saves you some money and helps the channel out a little bit as well. So if you guys are looking to buy some of these, definitely go uh, use that code. So let's not get to it guys. Some of these black mystery bags again. Let's get into the first one. Let's see what it is. That's pretty cool. It's actually one of these old Bionicle uh, figures right here in gold. Um, and that silver has that white printed tile, all lime green head. And uh, I know these guys aren't worth that much. I know there's maybe two of them that have a little bit of value to them, but maybe this one is, maybe it's not. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it is definitely worth your dollar, you know, for the fun of it, you know, some enjoyment. And uh, so there's the first one, guys, right there. Started off kind of cool, at least. Nothing too crazy, but at least something interesting. Let's move on to the next one. Looks like we do have, oh, a Han Solo right here. I'm not sure where this one is from, but it's definitely a newer version um, with the, the light flesh, the, the torso, maybe from 2011, 2012-ish, around there. Uh, so there's definitely that. Definitely probably worth at least two, three bucks right there. Can't go wrong with that one. Let's move on to the next one. Let's see what we get. Looks like we have a, oh, I think this is from Lego Movie 1, I believe, a Robo Cop kind of guy. Um, from the Lego movie series. Maybe it's not. I've never really seen this figure before um, But definitely pretty cool right there. Nice black suit torso um, Might be worth more parting out the figure, but maybe not Another little heads up guys is he did post on his Instagram story that if you guys are looking to buy these bags He is out of blind bags for a little bit. He actually ordered some but he's gonna be out of them for a little bit So if you guys do order some of these you guys may not get them in these black blind bags. So um, That's just a little dis uh, disclaimer, but you know, still the fun of it. And uh, he's, by the time you guys, honestly, by the time this video comes up and you guys see this video, um, he's probably gonna have a restock anyway. So definitely don't worry on that aspect. But looks like we have a Hagrid right here. Last time I sold these, I think this is like a $5 figure. Am I wrong? Four or $5 figure. Pretty nice condition. Or actually, excellent condition. And uh, there we go, guys. So far, very cool variety. I'm, I'm honestly liking this variety more than some of those $2 blind bags. Let's move on to this one. Looks like we have a, just a regular little city fig right here. Gonna have to expect that. Pretty cool torso though, some a dark blue gray legs and a pretty common head. No hair, but it looks like he's bald. Hey, who am I to, who am I to judge? So now there was the fifth minifigure. Let's move on to the sixth one right here. Looks like we have a, another city figure right here. Looks like a little, uh, little female minifigure. That actually looks like an old, I think that's dark gray right there on the torso. So that's probably an older figure uh, torso at least, but uh, nonetheless, not too bad of a figure. Again, you're gonna have to expect some of those in dollar bags. He also has 50 cent mystery blind bags as well, but those have not been in stock in a while. Once those come, I'll definitely have to do a pretty good order on those. Then we have a Chima figure. This is actually kind of a mixed match. Of, it is a lion head on a wolf body, but no big issue. Um, I've got a lot, of, a lot of other Chima parts in my collection um, to kind of make up for that and that will be staying in my collection since if, if you guys don't know already i've kind of been into the chima game a little bit more lately so that's pretty cool oh looks like we have a santa right here that actually might be a little worth a little something no hat as well kind of weird how none of these have hair pieces or hat pieces but uh for a dollar hey what can you expect that's definitely worth a buck right there uh santa claus right there let's move on to the next one kind of a thicker package hopefully something good in this one uh, looks like, oh, we have a uh, eagle, I believe. Is that an eagle or a ra no, raven? My bad. A fire raven. That's a very bulked out figure right there. Wow, I don't have this one yet for my Chima collection. So definitely going to make a nice addition in my, my Chima collection. Actually, I don't think that's a raven. I'm not sure what that is. Phoenix? Phoenix, I believe. Yeah, Phoenix. Uh, there is that one. So not too bad. Looks like we've got about uh, six left. we got nine already, so we should have six more up here. Um, actually, let's take one out. There's 15. Here we go, guys. Six more left. 
It looks like we have a Arctic crew member right here. We got no hair helmet. Kind of weird, but kind of funny. And honestly, it doesn't really bother me. Um, all these are really not worth that much anyway. Um, so I'll probably just part out the parts and honestly just leave them in my collection. Uh, I don't really see any resale value on those. Let's move on to the next one, guys. Looks like we have a ooh, an alien, alien Conquest figure right here. No hand, but uh, the Dark Blue Shirt hands are super easy to come by. And this actually, I think, is a complete figure. And I know I have an extra helmet or two of this color, so this might be a complete figure in my collection and uh, might be worth a little bit. So there's that, guys. Let's move on to four more. Looks like we have... Ooh, that's actually awesome, which actually... Let's see, guys. Just for the sake of doing it, I could actually switch out these guys. Now I've got two Chima figures, two more. That's awesome. Again, I'm a big fan of Chima. And you know, as much hate as they get, they're not as cheap as you may think. You know, they're really not... You know, to get any quantity of them, you're really still going to pay a couple bucks a piece, um, you know, for them. So let's move on to the next one, guys. We have a... Another Chima figure, we have an eagle right here. I believe I have this one. I believe I have a couple of them, but uh, not all from Republic Bricks, of course, but just in general uh, from other um, Chima buys. So there's that one. Let's move on to the next one. We have a little lifeguard person right here with a firefighter uh, suit underneath it. Not too shabby. Some pretty cool, useful parts on that figure. Let's actually move up five... I'm actually going to throw five more up here, guys, just to kind of bulk out the video a little bit. And again, I got 40 of these, so it's going to be a 20 and 20 opening, it looks like. Looks like right here I've got another Chima Lion. Can't go wrong with him. It's going to be an awesome addition to the Chima collection. If you guys can't already tell, I've got a pretty, pretty awesome Chima haul so far. And then hopefully out of all these, this Haggard is definitely worth a little bit. But that's going to be for a um, after the video um, you know, look up on Bricklink. I'll see how much it is, but at least a couple bucks there. Let's move on to the next one. We have a, ooh, this is actually pretty cool. These are all old dark gray parts. This actually, I'm not sure where this is from, but that might have a little bit of value on it. Uh, very nice condition too. No scratches or yellowing, a little bit of dirtiness on the legs, I guess, but for an older figure, can't really go wrong with that. So that might have a little bit of value. So there is that one. Let's move on to the next one right here. We have a little janitor guy in the blue outfit, little construction garbage guy right there. So um, garbage is in the occupation, not, not how he looks. So there's that. Let's move on to the next one. We have, ooh, a crocodile from Chima. I think I have this one already. I believe this is the main king guy or pretty close to it, maybe Crowley or something like that. Um, but definitely a nice little Chima pile right there to add to the Chima collection move on to the next one right here Ooh, i think this guy actually has a little bit of value this is a uh i think this is actually a full figure i'm not sure where this is from maybe a collectible minifigure series maybe not but this is definitely very cool probably definitely worth a couple bucks there so hopefully that is a good figure let's move on to the last one for this video guys and i'll do another 20 opening coming in the weeks so again i want to keep these up about every other week or so and it looks like we're ending off on another chima crocodile and this actually this may be the king. I'm pretty sure that's the king, right? With the uh, the gold helmet. So I think that's the king right there. Definitely not too shabby, guys. In this video, we got a bunch of team of figures that for my, in my sake, very good deal. And then definitely the highlights for this video are these three. And this is just out of 20 of them. So this is at least four bucks, at least probably a couple bucks, at least 10 bucks worth right here. So half the value back, and then I get to keep all these Chima figures and uh, all these other figures over here to the side, guys. So if you guys want to buy these or any other products off of republicbricks.com, be sure to use my code LIFEBRICK for 5% off. Again, it helps you guys save some money, helps support the channel. And again, uh, no issues again with this purchase. I've got uh, 20 more to open up in a later date. So there's all these guys. I'll thank you guys all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe, for everyone. And see you guys in the next one. Save five percent off on your next Lego purchase. Be sure to use code LifeBrick. Uh, that's capital L I F E Brick at RepublicBricks.com for five percent off your next order. We'll pretty much pay for your shipping or get you a couple dollars off. They sell old Lego minifigures, sets, mystery boxes, and more. I've got a couple of videos on my channel uh, showing the products, uh, so be sure to use code LifeBrick on your next order for uh, for five percent off.